Okay. So, weddings, eh? That word will have new meaning for all of us today. <laughs> no longer will you coexist as individuals, but you will unite as a married couple. Today is the 1st of October, and it's the day when Brad and Libby declared in one voice they will not go quietly into the night, they will not vanish with a fight, they will always live on. They are going to survive. Today we celebrate their wedding day. I was trying to figure out a way to wear them. If I'd known I'd have got a shirt with cuff lip. Oh, my gifts have the hair. Do I open my gift now? Yeah. I, I reckon that's gold. Cool. Did you write your letter? Okay. Do I read the letter out loud or do I read the letter in my head, guys? And when someone leaves, he says, give it up for, what is it? Give it up for living, everybody. Oh, I'm like getting the shakes. Okay. I'm gonna cry immediately. <laughs> Libby, I remember you, sh oh, you asked me. <laughs> I can barely read his handwriting. I remember you asked me if I ever thought I'd get married again. <sighs> I think I told you yes. Would be nice to do it right. What I really meant was, if I found the right person. I knew very early on you were the right person, and I've never doubted that for a second. Can't wait for all the amazing things in our future. Babies, singular, <laughs> boats, hug, oh beats, bears, Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> all there is. How you feeling? Yeah, I guess. Like, as I was saying before, like, there's been so much going on. I haven't had a chance to be nervous yet. <laughs> oh, shucks. <laughs> That is so quintessentially Brad, yeah. and so... God, it's going to be a long day. <laughs> like the shakes are very much like starting, but... Um... So sorry. So sorry. Yeah, and cannot cry because I do not want to ruin this. <laughs> oh, no, but... <laughs> yeah, we decided yesterday to make it indoor. But yeah, it's like simultaneously been a really long time coming and not. So, so, so excited. Ready. Very ready. <laughs> must have paid so much to wrap this. <gasps> Jock in every episode has this bracelet, which is beads. Yeah. And I googled it because he's always playing with them. And I was like, are they like rosary beads? Are they really religious? And they're worried beads. <laughs> so I get really bad anxiety. And like I always want to have something to play with. And I was like, I want worry beads. I really want some worry beads because like I like pick at things and I do yeah. stuff with my hands. And it's like it's good to he's always doing it. And I think it's really awesome because he's always talking about how it's like breaking the stigma of mental health. And he's like, if people see me and then they Google it and they know it's about anxiety, then like it's yeah. So worry beads. Yes, and Brad fucking nails it. Beads. <laughs> Downstairs, I guess, in the kitchen. <laughs> Where's the wall? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Are there scissors? There are. 
leave the jacket without me. Oh, you leave the jacket without me. But I love it. But then I also got a denim jacket that has Mrs. Davison on it. Um, sunglasses like these. Oh, oh, okay, I'll start with okay. The pink and the pink of my boots are slightly different. So, so my dad, they're the only real diamonds I own and my dad got them for me for my 18th birthday. That is the motto of this entire wedding. Yeah. Is that too much? For sure. And the answer is always So I don't really know what bells are. <laughs> um, I think I'm supposed to promise a bunch of things, but there's really just the one thing I wanted to say in that regard. Um, I'll get to that, but I thought I'd just say a few things that I love about you, because who wouldn't want to hear that? Um, so for context, you have a tattoo of quotation marks behind your ears, because people always said you have, you don't have to guess what you're thinking, it's written all over your face. And it might be one of the most accurate tattoos in existence, um, but it's a quality I love about you. It means I know when you're happy, like when a new Taylor Swift album comes out. <laughs> or when you're mad, like when I let Larry chew on an old shoe of mine, which I'm pretty sure inadvertently, inadvertently led to the infamous destruction of the first pair of wedding shoes. As mentioned, Larry's our dog, by the way. I didn't just let a guy named Larry into our house <laughs> to chew on my shoes. That would be weird. <laughs> I guess I just wanted to say how I love how amazingly you, you are. So if I'm going to promise anything, it's that I'll always strive to keep our lives a place where you can be yourself, always. But I also wanted to keep it a place where you don't have to worry if you're anxious, nervous, or sad, um, because those things are okay to be. And I never ever want you to feel like you have to apologize for it, or hide it, or pretend it's not happening. And I'll do what I can to help, even if it's just old fashioned, well that sucks, response. Um, I'm lucky you swipe right when you saw my face. <laughs> I'm lucky you didn't mind when I ate my dessert with a knife and fork. Um, and mostly I'm just lucky that I met you. What's next? Brad, I've already made the big promises to you. One more. <laughs> so here are a few things I definitely can't promise, but I'll try. I'll try to stop asking you who is winning the cricket. <laughs> because that's not how cricket works. I'll try not to get mad at you for mumbling and to bite the bullet and spend the money on the hearing aids we both know I need. I'll try every day to love myself as much as you love me. Because if you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you gonna love somebody else? I'm someone who is severely affected by decision paralysis. I'll be so terrified of making the wrong choice that I will struggle to move forward with anything. Brad, you were and continue to be the easiest choice I've ever made. A couple of months before I met you, my therapist told me to write a list of everything I look for in my perfect man. You don't have any tattoos, but I'm working on that. You're not handy, but thankfully your dad is, and you're not musical, but we can always get Joe to serenade us. Of the 31 qualities on my list, you were 28. <laughs> That's a pretty bloody near perfect score, if you ask me. Thank you for everything you shared with me. New music, old movies, your food, and your life. You are the Pam to my Jim, the Donna to my Josh, the Ben to my Leslie. I love you, man. All there is, and then some. Libby, loving Brad as your past, your present, and your future, as your teammate and as your best friend, do you take him to be your husband? I do. And Brad, loving Libby as your past, your present, and as your future, as your teammate and as your best friend, 
do you take her to be your wife? I do. It is now my absolute joy to pronounce you for the first time and as husband and wife, Libby and Brad, you may now kiss.